Hey guys, good afternoon. It's me, Callie. Today I am super excited to be doing a Vegan Cuts unboxing and taste test with you guys. Um, for those of you who know me, know that I transitioned to 100% plant-based vegan diet in November of last year. And I binge watch vegans on YouTube constantly. And two of the people that I watch um, that I really enjoy are That Vegan Couple. And I'll put their link below. But I watched an unboxing that they did. And I've watched others too. But I decided to get my own. So I'm going to share that with you today. And I'm super excited. So let me know if you guys uh, subscribe to this. Or any other um, good vegan boxes or beauty boxes. I know that Vegan Cuts also has a beauty box. But I haven't subscribed to that. I have this one. So here we go. This is Snacks. And all I have was breakfast this morning, so I'm hungry. Okay. There's a little coupon here. Always free from gluten, wheat, blah, blah, blah. Save a dollar when you purchase any Enjoy Life Foods product over $3. Love my coupons. I'm also a crazy coupon lady. Oh, I'm excited, you guys. All right, let me take a sip of my requisite lemon water. This is going to be good. Okay, the first thing I'm grabbing here is the Skinny Pop Jalapeno Popcorn. I've never tried this before. Non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, peanut-free, tree nut-free, preservative-free, no artificial flavors, zero trans fat. Um, it's one serving per container, 70 calories. The ingredients are popcorn, sunflower oil, Rice flour, sea salt, natural flavors, spices, jalapeno pepper powder, and citric acid. Sounds right up my alley. I love popcorn anyway, so. Smells good. Mmm. You can definitely taste the citric acid in it. Tastes like lime. And it does have a nice spice. It's not overpowering. It just kind of comes in at the end. Gives, gives a little tingle. This is delicious. I think Tom would like this too. Very good. Yeah. I'm a popcorn fan. I do have a hot air popper though, so usually... What else do we have? More coupons. A dollar off any one Pacific Foods non-dairy beverage. I don't know if I've seen this brand locally. Um, I do have a Walmart, <laughs> but we don't have Whole Foods or Trader Joe or anything, but I will look out for this brand. And, okay, here's the Vegan Cut Snack Box. Feeling lucky. Enter to win a free box each time you tag a photo with Vegan Cuts. Well, I'll make sure to do that. And I can get, well, I'll tell you, there's a promo code, May Snacks for $10 off. And this just, this is the whole um, list of everything that's in the box. So that's wonderful. Ooh, I'm not going to peek, though. All right, what else? I'm just going to grab this. Ooh, I'm super excited about this. Never seen this brand. Dang. Toasted coconut chips, spicy chili lime. I'm sensing a theme here. Uh, it says chili lime is the most complex of our flavors. You'll get a tart, zesty front note followed by a kick of heat and a sweet, nutty aftertaste. Enjoy our coconut. Okay, here we go. Ingredients coconut, cane sugar. Chili lime seasoning, chili, lime, garlic, onion, pepper, kefir lime, citric acid, coconut oil, and salt. 155 calories per serving. This is a 1.4 serving size. And interesting back here, it says, Dang is my mother's name. One day she gave me a recipe with toasted coconut chips that changed my life. The flavor was so good, I started a company to share our coconut chips with the world and named it after her. Enjoy our coconut chips as a snack or sprinkle them on sorbet, ice cream, or yogurt as a fun topping. Yum. I'm excited. Let's try these out. 
And how nice that he's using his mother's recipe. I love coconut. Mmm. Mmm. Dang, that's good. Excuse me, when you first chew it, you get the all the spice on it, which is good. Not too much, but definitely has a kick. And then as you continue to chew it, you get the sweetness and the meatiness of the coconut. These are excellent. Again, Tom is going to love these. I love them too. Okay. These are Bean Fields Bean and Rice Chips Pico de Gallo. I am a huge bean chip fan. And I really am looking forward to these. I wish I had some hummus to dip things in. Okay, let's see. It says, welcome to Bean Fields, where we've created tortilla chips with award-winning taste. Our chips are made from a nutritious blend of black and navy beans and brown rice. And none of the eight most common food allergen ingredients. It's a family-owned business. We're all about beans. Visit us at beanfieldsnacks.com. And the ingredients are black beans, navy beans, organic brown rice, brown rice, safflower or sunflower oil. The seasoning blend is sea salt, terula yeast, spices, onion, tomato, yeast extract, green bell pepper, dehydrated cilantro, garlic, celery, extra tips of paprika, safflower oil, natural smoke flavor, and spice extract. 140 calories per serving, and this is a serving and a half. But you know, this is a serving. Let's see. Delicious. I'm still tasting the... Um... Oh, see, I love when they're like open, and I'm struggling to rip the bag apart. I'm still tasting the coconut chips. Okay. All right, you guys. They look good. What flavor is this? Pico de Gallo. I really like the chip. The seasoning tastes like a nacho cheese Dorito. without the cheese. These are good. Yeah, very good. Definitely um, reminds me 100% of a nacho cheese Dorito, which I used to eat a lot of as a teenager, but not so much anymore. Okay, then we have Oh, Cuban Mojo, ancient grain fusion, a colorful, saucy blend of organic grains, legumes, fruits, vegetables, and spices. I'm going to have to make this for dinner, I think. It says it's table ready in 60 seconds. Organic, made in nature. I hope you guys are seeing these things okay. Real food, real flavor. Get ready for a food lover's adventure, a tantalizing tour of the taste buds, if you will. We've combined some of the most exotic and nutritious ancient whole grains and legumes with the decadent flavors of fruits, vegetables, and spices. Nourish your body and reward your senses with these rich textures, vibrant colors, and lush flavors from around the world. Ready in only 60 seconds, they're perfectly complete as a main dish or as a sultry side. Let the journey begin. It says paired perfectly with fruit skewers and plantains. Um, you're supposed to, oh, it ha has microwave and stove top. So gently squeeze, you can microwave it or you can squeeze it to break it apart, pour it into a skillet, heat on medium for two to four minutes until warm. It's got the organic mojo sauce is roasted bell peppers, organic coconut milk, organic pineapple, organic olive oil, 
organic jalapeno pepper, organic garlic, organic cilantro, excuse me, and sea salt. The grains are um, water, organic red beans, brown rice, um, everything's organic, black beans, forbidden rice, organic quinoa, organic canahua, I never heard of that, organic amaranth, and it contains coconut milk. So one cup serving is 220 calories, and this is supposed to be two servings. So I will make this for dinner one of these nights, and I'll let you guys know how it is. But that sounds very interesting. Okay, I'm just reaching in. Uh, eat whatever. Two steps to kissable breath. Swallow a gel cap. Suck on a mint. Vegan, gluten-free, all-natural. Directions. Swallow one gel cap with liquid, then suck on a mint. When swallowed, the gel cap's organic peppermint and parsley seed oils dissolve in your tummy, making your breath kissable and your tummy calm. The delicious mint gives you instant mintiness in your mouth while you wait for the gel cap to do its thing. Well, that's cool. Definitely cool. That's why they put parsley as a garnish on your plate, too, after dinner. It's to freshen your breath. Definitely try that out. What is this? Cranberry chocolate chip. Lazy Susan's fresh baked granola. It's a bag of granola. And it says, a granola for every taste. Summertime blueberry, coconut cranberry, apple walnut, cinnamon raisin, coconut chip almond, and cherry almond. And what kind is this? This is cranberry chocolate chip, obviously. Ingredients, whole grain oats, canola oil, dried cranberries, dairy-free semi-sweet chocolate chips, maple syrup, brown sugar, vanilla extract, and salt. Uh, this is one serving size, and it is 210 calories. Calories from fat are 80. I love granola. And I, you know, I eat... I do eat more fat probably than I should, but it's all good fats. You know, I love my avocados and things like that. Yum. Can't wait to try that. What is this? Cold, cold brew, high brew coffee, dairy-free, black and bold. 20 calories, one gram of sugar. Well, they know me. I love my coffee. Dairy-free. Okay. It says, born from the adventure of a lifetime. High brew is a reminder that those, there are no bad days while living your dreams. Well, that is true. Elizabeth and David. Well, thank you, Elizabeth and David. This is born in Austin, Texas. 100% Arabica, natural caffeine, low acidity, better, not bitter. And the ingredients are cold brewed, fair trade certified coffee pure cane sugar, and potassium phosphates. Serving size, this is one, and 20 calories. So I will try this right now. I don't think you're supposed to shake it. I'm not going to shake it. it smells like coffee. It's cold, it feels cold. Mmm. That's... Better than I thought it was going to be. I was prepared for it to be very bitter. I know it says it's not bitter, but it's creamy. I don't know how they did that. I like it a lot, actually. This isn't something that I would normally pick up at the store. Um, I usually, I drink more coffee than I should, actually. But um, I, would, I would drink this again. It's very tasty. If you're a coffee lover... You will love this coffee. I like it a lot. And I like the can a lot, too. Okay, guys, we're not done. This is Treats You Can Trust. Home Free. Crunchy Chocolate Mint. Mini Cookies. Ooh. No artificial anything. No soy. Whole grain. So very refreshing. Egg and dairy free. Gluten free. Nut free. Peanut free. Okay. The ingredients, gluten-free whole oat flour, evaporated cane sugar, high oleic safflower oil, demerara sugar, non-alkalized cocoa powder, organic tapioca starch, apple juice concentrate, peppermint extract, baking soda, 
pure vanilla extract, salt, xanthan gum, sunflower, lecithin, cream of tartar, and rosemary extract. Uh, this is one serving size, and it's 130 calories. Non-GMO. That's the way to go. By nature, I am more of a salty girl. I'm not one for sweets. I'm not a chocolate lover. Um, I know many people who are, but I prefer salty and spicy things. I'm not a baker, but every once in a while, you want a sweet treat. So I bet you these are going to taste like um, Girl Scout cookies. But they're, they're firm. It feels like a firm baked cookie. It's not soft. Mmm. I like it. It reminds me of, you know, the edges of the brownie, the crusty edges that are so delicious. There's even a, a company that I probably, they're not vegan, but I used to eat this um, brownie brittle is the name of it. That's what it reminds me of. This reminds me of the edges of the brownies. And then there's a mint taste coming through. It's really good. I like it. Two thumbs up on the home free chocolate mint mini cookies. Let me wash it down with my high brew. Still digging in the box. Oh. Okay. Pacific. Oh, so that's what the coupon was for. Pacific Organic Oat Non-Dairy Beverage Original Promotes Heart Health Whole Grain Oats. Four grams of protein. Okay, so it's a non-dairy beverage. Um, I'm not super excited about it just because I'm a big fan of my, my vanilla almond milk. Um first thought is that this would be kind of bland. I don't know. I could be wrong. It says, we let the natural sweetness of the oats shine in this creamy beverage packed with a whole serving of whole, whole grains. Uh, ingredients from suppliers with highest standards. Sourcing as close to home as possible. Sustainable practices that minimize. So they're a wonderful company. This is one serving size, 130 calories. The ingredients are filtered water, oats, oat bran, tricalcium phosphate, sea salt, gel and gum, riboflavin, vitamin A, palmitate, vitamin B2, D2. It's organic. I don't know. I'll try it. I could use it as coffee creamer. I shouldn't have a negative attitude. Maybe it's delicious. Maybe it's wonderful. Maybe I'm going to just eat oat bran milk, oat milk all the time. I'm open to try new things. I'll always try something new. All right, there's a little metal seal inside, which is reassuring, and it was sealed. Yeah, you know what? It tastes, it's not bad. It's not as bland as I thought. It's a little creamier, you know, has a little more flavor, almost like a sweetness to it. It's not as good as my almond milk, but it's not bad. But you can definitely taste the oats, so it reminds me of, like, the water in your oatmeal. You know, if your oatmeal hasn't absorbed all its liquid yet, but it's an oat liquid, so it's not bad. Um, I'm probably not going to change to uh, from my Almond Breeze, but if they came out with a vanilla, I would try it. I'd be willing to try it again. It's worth a shot, especially for people with allergies and stuff. These things can be lifesavers. So, yeah, that's that. And I'll use I'll use it in my coffee. I will not throw it away. Oh, here we go. Love and nuts, outrageously delicious nut and fruit bar. Well, I do love nuts. Organic, gluten free, vegan, soy free, paleo. Don't get me started. Kosher, non-GMO, dairy-free, wheat, oat-free. 
Okay, ingredients, organic sunflower seeds, organic shredded coconut, organic agave nectar, water, organic almonds, organic walnuts, organic pumpkin seeds. It's all organic, okay? Cranberries, medjool dates, raisins, pistachios, sea salt, ground cinnamon, pure vanilla extract. Yum. Okay, serving size obviously is one bar. Not obviously, sometimes it's a piece of a bar. And calories are 160, 10 fat grams. Let's try it. I told you, I love my fats. I have a knife here. <laughs> Why struggle with the wrapper? Okay. This looks interesting. It's hot. Oh, actually, it's not as hard as I thought. It's got the consistency of like a, you know, almost like a granola bar, but it's thinner, obviously. You could see the nuts at the end there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like it a lot. If you like nuts, you'll like it. And also the shredded coconut in it makes it soft and chewy and sweet. And you can definitely taste the raisins. Is there raisins? <laughs> yes. I could taste the raisins and the dates, too. It's really good. Mmm. I like that one a lot. Mmm. I would buy that again. I would definitely buy it. Okay. Excuse me. I still got stuff. I'm filling up now. Oh, this looks cool. Speaking of chewy granola bars, here's a chewy granola bar from Ernest Eats. Power grains and flax, superfood grains, oats, amaranth, quinoa, vegan, wheat-free, 100% natural. Okay. Um, serving size is one bar, 140 calories. Fat calories are 40. EarnestEats.com Ingredients Superfood grain blend Granola is whole oats, cane sugar, vegetable oil which is canola and or safflower and or sunflower oil oats, quinoa and amaranth brown rice syrup rice crisps, which I love rice flour, sugar, barley malt extract, salt, sunflower seeds almonds, black seeds, canola oil, sea salt and natural flavor Yum. Let's try this one, shall we? Let me wash it down with some more high brew. Like I needed more caffeine today. It's really good though. Okay, I'm excited about this chewy almond granola bar. Yeah, I love anything with rice crisps, you know, rice crispy treats and things like that. Vegan, of course, but I love when they have them in product. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Again, these things are not too sweet, and I don't like things too sweet, so. It has the consistency of a Rice Krispie Treat mixed with it almost tastes like cookie dough um but you definitely get that rice crispy treat crunch to it but there's a whole lot of good stuff going on in this bar i like it a lot i'm so happy with this box you guys i'm telling you i'm not sponsored i wish i were vegan cuts Feel free. Yum. We're not dumb.
I don't think. Are we? No. Okay, there's two more things in here. Let me make sure nothing's hiding. And anyone who knows me knows I'll be altering this box in some kind of arty way. Okay, more, more bars. This is the box of chewy granola kind of bars. Okay, enjoy life. Baked chewy bars, Coco Loco. I already told you I'm not a huge Coco fan, but I don't hate it. No artificial anything, milk-free, nut-free, soy-free, free from the eight common allergens, gluten-free. I'll show you. It's Enjoy Life. The ingredients are the flour mix is rice, buckwheat, millet, tapioca syrup, dried cane syrup, vegetable glycerin, chocolate chips, uh, which gives cane sugar unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, cocoa powder, date paste, expeller pressed vegetable oil, brown cane syrup, sunflower seed butter, dried cane syrup, ground flaxseed, rice starch, natural flavor, leavening, xanthan gum, vitamin B6, thiamine, yeah, you know. Uh, let's see, how many calories do we know? Do we care? We don't count calories, so we don't care. Uh, I honestly don't see it. Oh, yes, there it is. 120. It's a snack bar. Oh, that opened right up for me. Okay. It looks like a mini brownie. It feels like one. It's kind of soft. It's definitely soft. It's very brownie-like. Mmm. Not for me, you guys, only because it's so chocolatey. If you love chocolate, you'll love this bar. But it's not, I'm like, it's not bad. It's purely because I'm not a chocolate fan. It's so richly chocolate. It almost tastes like unbaked brownie, like brownie batter. If you like that level of sweetness and that level of chocolate, you'll love this. It's just not my thing. It's almost, it's too much. It's too rich for me. I'm not, you know, again, if, if you like sweet, decadent, rich chocolate types of things, this is right up your alley. I told you I take a more, uh, I like the, you see what I like, the saltier, spicier things. Okay, and then last but not least, and it is the end of the box, is this Pro Matcha Protein and Matcha Tea. I'm not into these things, guys. It's a dietary supplement, boosts metabolism, low carb, right there. I don't want to hear about it. But I guess this is uh, a protein powder. It's a dietary supplement. Uh, this is something that I wouldn't use maybe I'll throw it into a yeah honestly guys I'm uh, it's not something that I would use I'm not into these kind of things um I don't know tell me if I'm wrong but I guess I could try it throw it into a smoothie or something right but anything that says low carb I want to stay away from because for those of you who know me know that I eat a high carb low fat well <laughs> low fat uh diet but i'm not really into these kinds of things and i certainly don't work out but anyway so i don't know how it is but maybe not to waste it i'll throw it into a smoothie and let you know at a later time you guys i am so pleased with my first vegan cuts box i'm giving it two thumbs up i'm super stoked i will be continuing to get this so if this interests you and you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have not yet subscribed i would love it if you do i have a wide variety of videos on my channel primarily art but i also do vlogging etc and i hope you're having a beautiful day i'll put all links below uh and you guys have a great day take care i'll talk to you soon Bye -bye.